Back in August 2025, we compared the performance of Windows 10 22H2 with Windows 11 24H2 to see how much better the new OS is in performance, as support for Windows 10 is ending very soon. The results were definitely somewhat surprising, as we did not expect to see such big differentials going in. Microsoft has also promised even better performance on Windows 11 25H2, the latest Windows OS feature update which was released last week, we will soon test those claims out, so stick around. Meanwhile, enthusiasts are always trying to improve to boost the performance or make the experience better, and they also opt for third-party apps to do so. Microsoft knows this, and as such recently shared with users some very useful tips that could be used to boost system performance. Most of them are fairly general ones that our brilliant NeoWin readers will already know. These include regularly updating the OS as well as device drivers, restarting the system, ensuring there is enough disk space, and checking for malware and viruses, among others. The company also highlighted how system startup could be optimized to make your device quicker. The company has explored this in much more detail earlier. You can check that out in our dedicated coverage. Aside from those, Microsoft also pointed out a couple of Windows 10 and 11 features that can make the system feel sluggish. The company has acknowledged that though cloud syncing of your files via OneDrive is important, which is why the company keeps it enabled by default, this can lead to slowdowns. It writes, OneDrive by default sync files. This lets you get to your files from any device that can connect to the internet, and it helps make sure your files are backed up in case your PC is ever damaged or lost. However, syncing can slow down your PC. You can pause OneDrive syncing temporarily and see if it helps improve your PC performance. Perhaps with the new redesigned OneDrive app, this will be less of an issue. Besides OneDrive Sync, Microsoft has also highlighted how the various Windows 11 visual effects can also slow your PC. In fact, there is even a dedicated option for it in your PC to disable such effects if you feel they are too heavy for your device. Microsoft writes, Windows 11 includes many visual effects, such as animations and shadow effects. These look great, but they can also use additional system resources and can slow down your PC. This is especially true if you have a PC with a smaller amount of memory RAM. If you are wondering, it can be accessed by typing performance in the Windows search and then selecting adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. After the performance options dialog box opens, select the adjust for best performance option under the visual effects tab. There are also some other tips like using ReadyBoost, which allows using a USB or SD card as cache, though Windows 11 no longer has this option. Managing page file is also another way to potentially improve performance. You can explore it in full in the support article here on Microsoft's official website.